Hi, and welcome to Walk Away Meals with JC. Thank you for tuning in, and today I want to explain to you what the show is all about. Walk Away Meals is all the food is cooked in a wok. So as you can see, we have a wok here for all your food needs, and you can also use a pan or a pot. And I have a special guest for you today. He's a nationally touring comedian and former chef. Let's welcome Dusty Slade to the show. Woo! Thank you, Dusty. Yeah, thank you. So, you're a former chef. Hmm. Yeah. So, former chef, I worked at a restaurant called Jim Bob's Chicken Fingers. Wow. I was, uh, was high class. Uh, yeah, high we class. Uh, would cook chicken, and mm. uh, we would add the, the the fry racks, and I would put the chicken in like a um, uh, powder, and then I would put <laughs> them in the basket and drop it, and then I would set a timer. And when that mm. timer went off, the chicken was done. Wow, that must have been a lot of schooling for that. Yeah, well, no, that well. culinary school yeah, must have been good to you. There right? was some training, yeah. Really? I'm sure there was training, wow. yeah. Fried basket cooking, yeah. man. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I can't beat that. I'm assuming then you made tacos then. Yeah, well, I'm excited to be here to learn to make tacos in a wok. Awesome. Like everyone else. <laughs> it's great. So today we're going to make for you viewers out there, it's going to be excellent, turkey tacos. And if you don't like turkey, you can use beef, you can use pork, or if you're not a fan of the animals in land, you might want to use the animals in the water, which is basically fish. Well, yeah, like so, a fish. Yeah, like a fish, yeah. So we're going to swim with the fishies today. Not really. We're going to actually be flying with the turkeys. So the first thing we're going to start off with is going to be our turkey. All right. I probably shouldn't have been eating this. Nah, raw turkey won't go over really well. But hey, if you like it, I'll so be it. then. I'm going to give the rest of this to my dogs afterwards. So we're going to start with the turkey. Can you hold on to that for me, Dusty? Excellent. We're going to dabble with a little bit of uh, olive oil here, light olive oil. So we're going to pour about a spoonful into a warm pan. And we're going to bring the wok to about possibly medium heat, depending on what you're cooking in. Medium heat can mean about 200 degrees, 150 to 200 degrees. In my wok, it's about 150 degrees. Medium to high heat. But be really careful with olive oil. It may pop and crack if the pan or wok is too hot. Never want to get it too hot with your shirt off. Exactly. Yeah, yeah you got to turn this pan on. That's for sure. Yeah, because if you, yeah, if you get it, if you do with your shirt off, it'll pop you. Exactly. And you have a little red dot. <laughs> you know? That's very true. So we're gonna use some utensils today. Utensils, actually. There we go. I think I'm drinking too much guava juice. We're actually going to be pouring some guava juice in a little bit here in between. So we're going to pour in the turkey. So you can put the turkey into the pot for me or into the wok. The reason why I'm referring to pot and pan and wok is that not everyone at home has a wok. There you go. Yeah. Here's a sizzle. Yeah. Woo! Really cooking. That's what I'm talking about. You always want to be uh, aware of cross-contamination, so that's why we have uh, some baby wipes here, and also paper towels if you want to wipe your hands off in between. But real man, don't we use baby wipes? We use paper towels. Man wipes. Exactly. So we're going to break this up a little bit here. There we go. I really smell that already. Woo! Smells good. It smells like... It smells like meat. Yes. Meat. I freshly killed this turkey today for you. Meat and oil. And I've been to Mexico before. Have you, Dusty? Have I you did, been yeah. Mexico? I went to Cozumel, uh, Mexico, one time really? on a cruise. I rented a scooter and rode all around town. That's and awesome. And I went to uh, a grocery store and got confused on the conversion uh, uh, of money. The pesos. Yeah. And I thought I had a great deal, and it ended up being really expensive, and I just left. Really? Embarrassed. Wow. I didn't buy it. I, I, I just ran out of there. Embarrassed. You're actually real lucky. I've been to Mexico before, but I actually flew in the Veracruz. I stayed in the Mesa for a week and literally had to flush the toilet with a bucket of water. Oh. I actually went into Los Chalapas, Veracruz and had a hitchhike onto a bus to get back after a taxi cab dropping us off. So I was wow. in the third world part of Mexico. Yeah. I mean, we were on a cruise. What, uh, why were you there doing that? My friend's wedding was in Mexico, literally. And while I was in Mexico at his wedding, every single father wanted me to marry their girl. Oh. They tried to tur pay me to take their girl back to the States. And if they only knew how well you cook tacos, that would be... Exactly, look at that. Pretty wild, isn't it? It is. 
So it's quite a bit of meat in this uh, wok here. So we're just moving it around a little bit so it's not going to burn. 1.2 pounds. Exactly. And I put about a pound in here because uh, I took a quarter out earlier. And I ate some of it. Exactly. the shield started. My dogs and Dusty took care of the, the turkey. There we go. Smells great. So I'm going to add a little bit of more. I'm going to lower it down a little it's bit. It's really brown and up right now. Yeah, yes. it's gray enough. Turkey gets gray, so it's it's not brown and it's gray enough. Exactly. It is definitely gray enough. You never hear that. You never hear you want to gray your meat. That's true. That's true. Yeah, that is true. There's 50 shades of gray over here yeah. in this pan. So like Dusty was saying, he's a master chef, so he knows all about cooking meat. So the main thing is you want to make sure you get your meat to a nice gray or brown color, and then you want to drain it into a bowl or another pan. But while this is actually simmering, I'm going to put the lid back on, and I'm going to add a little bit more oil to add a little bit more. If it's beef, you don't want it to be gray. Exactly. You don't want to bite gray. You want nice red color. So I'll let that in there. I'm going to put the top back on it. I think it's enough fluid in there for now. And while that's simmering, and this is going to take about maybe, maybe 10 to 15 minutes to cook, and we're going to strain it, and then we're going to put it back in to simmer with all our seasonings. So while they're doing that, I'm going to have Dusty, the, ma Dusty, the master chef, all right. over here. I was all covered because we're at the park today. I didn't mention that, but we are at the park, as you saw when the show opened. Uh, we're at the local park cooking tacos for individuals that are on the slides behind us and also the merry-go-round and all other fun stuff that kids play with. Trying to pick up ladies out here. Yep, a lot of single moms out here, so you never know. It's very possible. So, we're going to have you cut some tomatoes in your chef ethics. Alright. Let's try it out. That's a cut coat knife. That's one of the sharpest there is. It feels like a deer antler blade. It slices I mean, and dices. Like that's the handle. It is, like ivory, yeah? Yeah. Very similar, yeah? So while you're doing that, I'm going to give you a chance to cut the tomatoes into chunks. You can put them in this bowl for me. Okay. And after that, we're going to slice up some lettuce, and you can put it in the other bowl you for me. You have lunchbox there? That's I do. It's, it's all out of my lunchbox. you got to keep all your perishable stuff cold while you're at the park, because you don't want this to go bad, or sour cream will get really beyond sour. It's like, it'd be sour, sour cream. Exactly. Triple sour. Double sour. And we have shredded cheese. So many sours. Exactly. And it doesn't get better. Like cream, now sour, good. Sour, sour cream, not as good. Exactly. You want to catch it before it gets too sour, sour. 3% to 90% fat-free turkey. You want a little fat so it doesn't stick together and get too hard to cook. But just like that sour cream, not too much fat. Exactly. Not too much fat. A little just fat's right. okay. Too much. It's too much. <laughs> it's true. That is very true. And Dusty's and cutting the plum tomatoes. And then he's going to be... Cutting the plum out of them. <laughs> okay, all right. It's all good. It's all good. It's great. Working with Dusty is always fun because it keeps you laughing. Even when the days you're feeling down, Dusty's laughs always... Dusty's jokes always pick me up every single day. And he's going to cut up some iceberg lettuce for us and shred it for the toppings. So Dusty is making toppings right now. Mm. I see your knife skills are quite good there. In a barbaric way. I've cut some people. <laughs> so you're doing great. Excellent. And then we're also going to end with a little bit of toppings. With We're going to use taco seasoning from Taco Bell. Literally, wow. we have Taco Bell seasoning for our tacos. You can actually use all the seasonings, spices that make the seasoning. But you can use paprika, chili powder, turmeric. And also other spices to make your tacos, but I'm making it easy for me like and that. Dusty. You can make your own spices, but that ain't what we're doing. Exactly. And also mild taco sauce we're going to be using as well on top of our tacos. And Dusty, you're doing great there. So while Dusty's doing that, I'm going to check our uh, turkey. Woo, the and make sure that you don't overcook it because you don't want it real hard. There we go. It smells really good. Never want your meat too hard. <laughs> exactly. That is very true. We need a drink, Dusty. Some guava mango juice. I think you're right. Yes, most definitely. And if you're over 18 out there, or actually over 21, I should say, you can add a little tequila to it. A little chaser, right? Yeah, absolutely. A little vodka. Yeah. There we go. Good All tea. right. Awesome. Look at that. Alright. Cheers to that, Dusty. Cheers, yeah. Look at that guava juice. Mm-hmm. 
That's some good Aldi guava juice. It's nice. Good juice. It is good. It's a little Mexican, right? You want to keep to the Mexican trend here? So when we come back, we're going to go to commercial, but I'll see you in a few minutes. This is Walk Away Meals with JC, and I'll see you when we come back from the commercial. Don't walk away. That's right. We'll be back. Hi, I'm Dr. Schlesinger, and for you all out there that are suffering from, you know what, low T, I have the answer for you. So let's talk to one of my patients that has gotten his T up. Hey, how you doing there, Ricky? Uh, well, I'm not good. My energy is low, and my wife, she thinks I have low T. Mmm, your blood work did come back saying that the T was kind of low. Well, Doc, I need you to fill my T up. I got something great for you. All right. We'll make that tea really high. Anything. I okay. need high tea. This is the best elixir in town. It's called High Tea Express. All right. Yeah. So let me pour some of that into your low tea. All right. And you'll walk out of here a new man. My tea is low. Okay. Let's fill her up. This is premium All tea. All right. That's medium tea. There we go. And oh. some high tea. This is southern sweet tea. All right. Oh my, let's give you all of that. I do. We'll get the bill in the mail. It's uh, going to be a hefty one, but your wife will be happy. Thanks, Doc. That's good tea. Another satisfied customer. Mm. Yeah. Uh, my name is uh, Dusty Slay, and I had low tea. But thanks to Dr. Schlesinger, I now have high tea, and my wife is happy. Thanks, Dr. T. Everybody wants to talk about riding motorcycles. You can't ride a motorcycle when you have low T. See Dr. Schlesinger and get yourself high T so you can be back on the motorcycle. Thank you very much. And you know where to find your high T. Come to my office and call me at 1-800-453-TEAS. Teas. Dr. Schlesinger. Dr. Schlesinger? See you in my office. And just remember, we cater to everyone from age 2 all the way to 92. So call us today and you'll get your high tea your way. That's right. Welcome back to Walk Away Meals with JC. And if you haven't tuned in earlier, this is our special guest, Dusty Slay, touring comedian and also professional chef. I was maybe former professional chef. Or we're in net, and that's what I like about this show. It's none of that. We don't yeah, we have no hair. gloves, we have no hair nets, and I'm basically wearing workout clothes, and Dusty's wearing regular clothes, so it's all good. Because we like to, this is uh, all part of the uh, eat, workout, and music, and comedy. and comedy. Exactly. Yep, it's food, comedy, and fitness, all in one one show, which the you don't three Fs. Exactly. If you haven't tuned in earlier, we're actually making turkey tacos today, and this is my style of turkey tacos. And there's all different versions out there, but we're going to top it with romaine lettuce, tomatoes, taco seasoning, and also sour cream and Mexican cheese. So we're, we're at the point right now where we're going to strain this turkey. I like that American cheese. Exactly. Government cheese. It's Mexican cheese. This turkey looks like it doesn't need to be strained, actually. We don't need the strainer. You can wear it as a hat, actually. All right, well. There we go. It looks really good. Actually, I put enough oil in here where the turkey actually dried up, so I don't even have to strain it. That's a good thing. So we're going to add the next most people ingredients. Most probably won't be that perfect. Exactly. Perfection comes with time. Yes, by time and with, with my skills, hey, every day is perfect. Nah, I'm being sarcastic with that one. So, so ingredients are next. It's going to be a little bit of water. We're going to put a third of water, or this could be some uh, pure grain vodka. Out of a mason jar, right, Dusty? Yeah, moonshine. Dusty bought the moonshine today. Yeah, that's not water. <laughs> or water, either or. It's all good. If you're on a diet, try water. If not, moonshine works. There we go. Let's put a little bit of water in there. That's gonna make the liquid so that we can make the sauce. Okay. That's about a third of water, right? I'm a chef, so I don't have to measure anything. That's great. At home, you're gonna want to measure. Exactly. That's if you want to. And this is actually Taco Bell seasoning. It's pretty much all the spices you need to make tacos in a packet. I, feel, I figured today, because Dusty's here to make it easy for us, is not to be using all the separate spices and putting them in one by one, all at one time. Who has time for all that mixing? 
And, you know, another thing to do is that if you don't want to do any of the mixing, you just go straight to Taco Bell. Exactly. You Taco Bell. the tacos. Taco Bell is your hookup at late night at 2 in the morning. You're coming back from uh, your party. Taco Bell is the place to be. This is good. It needs to start. And I need to bring this to a boil, actually. you got to bring the liquid to a boil. That smells really good. It looks a little like mud, but it does smell <laughs> good. It is, yes. Yeah. So you got to bring the mud to a boil and then let it simmer for about 10 minutes. That's the seasoning. It's like making diamonds out of coal. Exactly. All that pressure will get you to where you want to be. The pressure of being on, uh, on TV. Exactly. But we're professionals, so hey, we're on TV all the time. Especially Dusty. Dusty's on stage like six days a week. He's touring it up and doing his comedy. And if you want, uh, you can, we can put a link to your actual comedy page. I like that. On, on, on the show. Yeah. It'd be great. Making That Fudge is a CD that I made, but it's uh, not about making fudge. Uh, but we should do a cooking show where we make fudge. That would be good. Fudge is awesome. Making it's really fudge. good. But buy the CD. Yeah, check it out. It's going to be on. Oh, where can they find the CD, Dusty? Uh, well, at DustySlay.com. It's on there. Or, uh, yeah, go just go there. It's other places, but I want you to go there. Okay, we'll put DustySlay.com on the link. It'll pop right up for you. And then Ooh, check them out. It's really boiling now. Coming Steam to boil. coming off of it. Look at that. That's doing really good. Really wafted in. That smells really good. It's actually opening my sciences right now. Chili powder, paprika, garlic, cumin, turmeric. I think this is the time for some music. I think so, Dusty. Let's play some stuff. Want, want yeah. me to start? Okay. Yeah. You can sing. Okay. Okay. I like tacos on rainy days. I like tacos on sunny days as well. <laughs> Put in your spice. It looks real nice. Boiling out of the wok with Jay. We're going to town. That's a one-hit wonder without the hit. It's a pretty good, just a wonder. Wonder, yeah. One wonder. I think it's just wonder a wonder. what they're playing. This guava is really good. I think we spiked it. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we're going to go to commercial break one more time. And when we come back, we're going to be start, we're actually going to start to plate the turkey tacos with the spices mixed together. And within a few minutes, we're going to have delicious turkey tacos for us to enjoy for and for you to try at home. So we'll see you after the break. This is uh, Walk Away Meals with JC, and I'll see you in a few. Don't walk away. That's right. Are you tired of a boyfriend who doesn't do whatever you tell him to do? Don't have to look any further. Welcome to the Remote Control Boyfriend, the remote control that steers your boyfriend in whichever way you want it. Honey, tell me I'm pretty. You're so pretty, honey. You are so pretty. Come into the frame and say that. You are so pretty. I wish everyone was as pretty as you. You are the prettiest person in the world. Pause. It's only ten ninety nine and two dollars for shipping. Remote control boyfriend, so that you can get your guy to do whatever you want. I thought. Uh, that I had no family at all, and I got on FamilyTree.com, and boy, did I find some family. Here he is. Hey, everyone. Thank you to FamilyTree.com. I found my long-lost cousin here, Dusty Slay. Dusty and Ricky, back at it again. Yeah, we're getting in our hoop and getting down the road. Imagine. <laughs> woo -hoo. Yeah, old Ricky always had a hoop -tick. And here he comes, you're drinking that barefoot wine. You don't need shoes when you're drinking this wine, because it's barefoot wine. Exactly. It's all gone, but you can have a bottle. Familytree.com, sharing an empty bottle of wine for years to come. That's right. Hey, and welcome back to Walk Away Meals with JC. If you haven't tuned in earlier, we have a special guest, Dusty Slay, national touring comedian, as well as former sous chef at a chicken fry place. He's good. Yes. Jim Bob's chicken fingers mm. uh, were the 
and bots. Chicken is as good as the uh, the cheese sticks. Oh, nice. That must be a southern restaurant. You ever hear that? Like, nothing like that no, in the north, right? No, Because it's the same oil they put them in. Oh, yeah. So let's check out the turkey. Turkey's been simmering for about 15 to 20 minutes. About, no, let's say 10 to 15 minutes. And let's check out our final product. No real, we don't really know how long. We're just approximate times. Exactly. It's like scientific study here. Mm, just... Check that turkey out right. with that beautiful taco sauce. Mm. Especially made from Taco Bell spices. Look at that, that's beautiful. It's actually almost pretty much ready to go. And Dusty refers to it as muddy water, but it's a little muddy. It's, What's... it's muddy, it looks like mud. Mix it up a little bit and make sure it simmers. But I've eaten mud. You have like mud cakes when you're a kid, right? Yeah. They're great. If you're lucky. <laughs> exactly. Look at that. That smells awesome. Woo! Mm, and I love being here good. at the park because everyone around us is watching us and it's awesome. So many see. girls have come up asking, can they get some of our tacos? And well, we're like, well, it's not ready right now. But only in a few minutes. We should start a food truck. This is good. going really good. It's like food wars, right? Excellent. Yeah, because if somebody else was out here cooking tacos, it would be a war. That is true. Yes, it would be. We're going to win that war. So I got for everybody out there to see, I like soft tacos. And due to the fact that it's so warm out today, it's about 95 degrees out, we had these sitting in the sun. Who needs a microwave or a stove top when you have soft tacos in the sun? They're nice and soft. They're not moving very much, but they're nice and soft. And they've been sitting in the sun for quite a while, so they're nice and firm and pliable. So you want them pliable, that's why you heat them up. You don't want a soft taco that you can't bend. Exactly. And I'm not a fan of hard tacos. I like my soft tacos. Because when I had my tacos in the street of Mexico, they all have soft tacos. There's no hard tacos. I think that's an American thing. Is that true? Yeah. I like a, I like a good hard taco. Like a hard taco? Hey. Soft taco, hard taco. Easter on, right? Yeah. <laughs> So let's That's check what it makes out. makes America great is we have options of different types of ta tacos. Exactly. You know? Check it out. I'm going to lower this down. I'm actually going to put this on low so it just simmers a little bit more while we're putting the taco meat in our shells. There we go, Dusty. You care for a taco shell? Yes, I would love go. a taco. There we go. Excellent. Clay plate, handcrafted in Malaysia. I think so, yes. It's from Goodwill, so it's all China. good. <laughs> okay, let's get first dibs here. The all guest right. always gets first dibs. All right. Let's put this on all right that. here. There we go. All right. Show our audience out there what that looks like before we top it. Look at that. There we go. A lot of beautiful. meat on there. So we'll get you more in a second. So pick your toppings of choice, gonna, Dusty. No, uh, when you eat like this, there's no need for forks. We just put our hands right in there. Exactly. A little lettuce. And we got some mild taco sauce for you out there, also from Taco Bell. A little Mexican cheese. There we go. That is awesome. Ooh. I'm actually going to borrow that knife from you, Dusty, to open this taco packet. Be careful with knives out there if you're not a professional like me and Dusty. Or Dusty and I. I should say a proper grammar. There we go. If you want some taco sauce, be my guest. Woohoo, look at that. that. Sour cream is really All thick. Alright. <laughs> the paste. <laughs> let's check it out. Want some of that? Yeah, let's put some of that on there. Alright. Look at that. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. So let's show the audience that. Look at that taco. That looks really, really good. If you're getting anything like that at any of these restaurants, um, well, I'd like to know about it. So let's put that on there. Look at that. He's so eager to eat it. You've already gobbled it up. How's that taste? A little hot oh. there. Be careful. A little toasty. That's so good. Excellent. That is very good. Oh, man. So good. Woohoo. You can't get anything like this this side of the border. Exactly. It's like a Tex Mex style, right? Yeah. It's very good. I love it. Mm. We're like cavemen when this is all done. This place is going to be a mess. The people in this park are so jealous right now. Look at them over there. You're not getting none of this. Okay. I'm going to show you at home what it looks like before you uh, take out the taco. It's like an MMA fighter over here. He's taking out that taco. There's still mud coming out of the back of it. It's a one-two punch. 
Look at that, everybody. That's a beautiful mm. taco. That's what I'm talking about. I, I've never seen a taco that beautiful before. That's I don't a even like taco. it. That's really, really good. Nice. I think Dusty's on his 10th taco right now. The <laughs> taco eating champion, I think. That's a little looking taco. Yeah, feel free to make more, Dusty. I have plenty there. I think we're going to give one out to a few people at the park, actually. They've been eyeing us up the whole time. Oh! Hey! Hey! Oh. How you doing? How you doing? Hey. I'm good. I was just hanging out in the park, and I saw you guys make tacos. Oh, yeah! Yeah, girls always want some of these tacos. Dusty, should I give her a taco? Yeah. Should I give yeah. her a taco? Yeah. What do you think? think? I don't know. This is my on my taco, but uh, I think, yeah, I think it would be okay. Maybe yeah, yeah, let's show everyone at home how generous we are. Exactly, yeah. You give away your first taco to a friend, right? So, here you go. Enjoy it. Thank you so much. All right. What's your name? Jen. Jen. So, Jen, what are you doing later? <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm only playing. Don't worry. Well, so we didn't have a lot of luck with the ladies today. I'm going to make my taco now. But, while I'm making, making my taco, there you go, Dusty, there's another one right there for you. I want to say to you, thank you for watching Walk Away Meals with JC, and a big thank you to Dusty Slave for coming on my show today and adding the funny to it. I really appreciate um, everything that everyone's done out there for us and for this show, and uh, all the generous donations yes. that we've received. Keep your donations coming, because I haven't seen them yet, so keep them coming. And, yep. uh, I took most of them. I <laughs> see. Stay tuned after the show for the fitness tip, because those fitness tips are going to help you out, as well as the food, fun, and fitness, and the comedy that we put into this show. Hope you're enjoying it, and like us on YouTube, and subscribe to our page. Any last words, Dusty? The three Fs. Food, fitness, and comedy. Exactly. <laughs> Dusty had not passed first grade, but it's all good. It's food, fitness, fun, and then you add the comedy to it. Comedy is fun. It is fun. So while I'm making this taco, I hope I would like to say to you, have a great day, and thank you for watching Walk Away Meals with JC and Dusty. And come see us at the park. Yes, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. Yep. JC's Fitness Tips. Today we're going to talk about resistance training. What that means is to work your bones and your muscles of your full body during your workout. What I like to do is body resistance, like push-ups, sit-ups, dips, pull-ups, and also squats and lunges and all different types of exercises that are working my full body with my own body weight. You can use weights, machines, water resistance, pulley systems, TRX, pretty much anything that you want to use to get a full body workout for resistance training. Resistance training will help your bone density as well as your overall body keep muscular strength and also your joint strength. So next time you want to resistance train, make sure you think about resistance training for at least two to three times a week for about a half hour. Push-ups, sit-ups, dips, squats are great, but if you've got weights or you have a gym membership, that's even better. And consult your personal trainer and your physician to make sure you know what you're doing before you start a workout program. I'm JC, and thank you very much for watching Working Out with JC. And I'd like to say goodbye, Riley, here I'd like to say goodbye to you. And my buddy Ozzy, as you can see, is jumping up. So have a great day, stay fit, and also keep up your workout. And I'll see you next time on Walk Away Meals and also on JC's Fitness Tips. Take care and have a great day. I'm going to go pump some iron. Come on. <laughs>